Hello everyone, how's it going? It is me, Thang. So instead of fun day, fr Friday fun day, we're gonna be potting some stuff. It's been a long time since we pot anything, really, right? So if you've already watched the video for the soy mix, it's right here. I'll link it in the bottom description down below. Uh, but what I'm gonna do today, so these are the Euphorbia medusiae type of plants and we're gonna repot them into these type of hanging pots. So I actually have two sizes, right? I have this one, which I really love, and these smaller ones. So smaller ones are great if you want to keep the compact, which is like the perfect size. But this one was growing actually more um, roots. So it was actually stuck and I actually unstuck it, which means that I had to damage the roots a little bit. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this into this and those ones also into these type of hanging pots. And then I'm actually gonna pot some of the extra plants that I have on the side here too. Um, but that's what we're gonna do today. Okay. So let's pot this first. So I've already unrooted stuff, right? Look, very beautiful roots. I believe I had to damage a few roots right here, here and here, because it was it was stuck onto this pot. Anyways, it's fine. Just as long as you don't water. So I'm just gonna put all the grit on the bottom first. Remove some of the, of course, um, the, the whatever rotten leaves. We're gonna do that, and I think that's enough space right there. Yeah, I think that's good enough space. And then we're just gonna pull up the rest. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, I wanted to like, what I wanted to do is because it was in the pot, it was very constricted, right? I wanted to be into these hanging pots so that way they can grow and then they just kind of overflow, uh, uh, overflow. And I wanna hang them. So they're gonna look really great. And also, you know, if I really wanted to, I can just cut off a piece and just propagate them and put them back into, you know, one of the other spot. So this is great. Um, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna put this on the side right there. And then I'm not gonna water that for probably a week or two, right? Because uh, it did have damaged roots. So we're not, gonna, we're not gonna water it. This one also, oh, oh, luckily, none of the roots were stuck in here. So that was good. That was good. Uh, where is the pot for this? There you go. This is the pot for this. So hopefully it'll grow bigger. I'm always gonna, I always put like more grit on the bottom. I always put more grit on the bottom and then on the top, right? So you can see like, I'm just grabbing just like uh, rocks and then I'm throwing it in. Because remember like all the um, soil particles is very, very fine. So it, it will shift down to the bottom. And because these are like euphorbias, they, they tend to prefer more grit than soil. Um, well, it's also their roots can't handle the moisture. It just dies from the fungal infection. <laughs> so I think that's a good that, that that's a good enough space, right? Yeah, that's a good enough space. We're gonna fill this halfway. More, more. Come on, more grit, more grit, more grit. All right. This is a totorama. This is a totorama. Now we're gonna grab the rest of the soil. There you go, and it will shift through. Yeah, it will shift through. Here over that. There you go. See, isn't that nice? Yeah, it's gonna like, grow a few more and it's just going to like be like a Medusa type of plant. It's just gonna, um, what's that word? Overflow. It's gonna overflow. All right. And this one I just got in, I think. So I've gone, I got like, I think four or five in. I keep the crappy stuff, right? Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be alive. I think this might be dead. So I might have to import another one in. But look, it has flowers, right? So it's just not rooting. It's not drinking water. So I'll give it time. I might order more of these in. These are Euphorbia geowandii. I really like them because I like how they look in the summertime. Um, so I might actually put this into a smaller pot for now, just because I don't want to overwhelm it with like too much space, right? What if it dies, right? So I'm gonna put it into the smaller hanging pot instead of the bigger hanging pot. All right, we're just gonna fill it with grit on the t bottom, more than 75%, and then we'll grab the, the soil stuff, and then we'll sprinkle it on top, and it will just shift through. There you go, see? That is nice, we'll leave that like that. And then the last Medusia type of plant, Euphorbia type, oh look, look how, look at this. Look how much root there is. So we have to damage the roots here to grab all this out which kind of sucks, right? Because it's it's probably really good rooting, but oh man, the only way to remove this is unfortunately we'll have to damage it. 
Sorry, it's okay. It's like it's like removing a tooth. It'll grow back. No, our tooth, our teeth don't grow back. But the roots will callus over and it'll heal. Just don't water it for the next week or two. Right? It'll heal. You can put it into soil right away. Okay. I'm sorry. A lot of you are probably like, oh my god, dang, no, don't do that. There's better ways. No, there isn't. There's no better way. You gotta smack that. Oh god, it's it's so tight. It's so tight. That's what she said. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ah, look at that. Look how big the codex is, right? I'm so sorry those of you are like, oh my god, you're such an abusive plant, dad. I know, I'm a horrible. Um, where is the, okay, it's down here. I'm very abusive. <laughs> okay, so we're also going to put this into this because that looks nice, right? The codex. So we're going to put a lot of the grit on the bottom like always. All right. Uh, where's the grit? Grit. Grit. I think that's a little bit higher. Remove that stuff. Grit. There. Mm, maybe a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, I want it to overflow. I'm gonna put this in. There you go. And then we'll grab the rest of the soil. Just sprinkle it in like this. I wanted to, I've, I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now. It's just we had like pre orders come in. I gotta finish the pre order stuff, right? That looks beautiful. And of course, we're gonna hang it up afterwards and put this on the side. Okay, now we're gonna plant some of our extra plants, which I have on the side here. This is called a Sensevaria mousse. Uh, this was an extra. I forgot that somebody wanted the extra. Because <sighs> sometimes like, I forget things, especially when it's not printed on uh, on the screen, right? So anyway, that's okay. I have an extra here. I can always sell it later on. There you go. We'll just put more. So sensitive areas, they prefer like, you know, the succulent type of mixture. But they also like a little bit more moisture. So there you go. So we put more of the soil medium in here than the euphorbias. Okay, okay. And this is the macaw. I ordered this by accident because <laughs> I thought there was like two people that order it, uh, but there was only one and I, I counted two. Anyway, so you see right here, this is dying from a fungal infection. So that's okay. Usually one or two leaf will do this sometimes, but you just like pluck it off. That's all there is. You, you just pluck that off and it's clean. So th that, that's all there is. There's, there's, there's no trick to it. And all these, um, all these, uh, what are these called? String things. These roots, they're dead. Like I keep telling people, ha bringing in roots doesn't really matter. Cause look, they're, they're all dried up. They've, they've been dried up before they left their country. Um, so there's no point in actually having the roots. The only thing, main thing that you always worry about is the, the end down here, if it's run or not, the base, right? That's the only thing you should care about. If that part is run, it kind of means your plant is going to die very, very soon. So you just pluck off all this because it's useless. There you go. And if you don't pluck it all off and you, uh, you pot it, what happens is that those, these, these dead roots will become food for fungus gnats. And you don't want that. You don't want food for fungus gnats, right? Because they'll come and they'll eat that and they'll also eat your, your new roots as well. And that's not good. That's not Gucci. We don't, we, we don't ever want that to happen. So remove all the dead stuff before you pot. There you go. Pot it done, put it on the side. Uh, what else is, oh yeah, these Hawortheas. Let me just pot these up. I actually, you know what's funny? I don't have any of these Hawortheas. I'm not into the fleshy Hawortheas as much as other people are. I'm into the more hardier leaf type. See, this is like, this is like drying up. So right here, we just pluck it off, right? We got a nice root going, right? We got, even though this is like kind of like squishy, it's not, it's fine. It's like dried up firm. There you go, dried up firm. 
right? Just remove all the dead. There you go. Clean, clean roots. Clean bottom. Yeah, all the bear wants a nice clean bottom twink. That's true. Nobody wants a messy bottom. Nobody wants a messy bottom. Nobody wants a messy bottom. But you know what? Sometimes shit happens, right? Sometimes shit happens and you just gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it. Don't be embarrassed. Right? Just like, okay. It happens. Let's go let's go clean it up, remove all that dead stuff, and pot it in. There you go. Okay, and then probably this one as well. This is the Cuspendita. You know what's funny? I really like this one, but I never own it. I actually have to cancel this because I just had to cancel it. Well, it's because this is like the only order they had, so I left. So I had to cancel it. It's fine. I'll pot it and then I'll just sell it later on. See? Very, very clean bottom. Very, very clean bottom. Everybody loves a clean bottom. Everybody loves a clean bottom. Okay, we'll put that in. And I believe this is the... I don't remember what this was. But we'll, we'll pot it up too. I think this is the um, the colorful skin. It looks like... It, it looks almost exactly the same as the platinum and the Kiyoshi black. But it's okay. We'll find out soon. I believe this is mine. Because I had to send the other stuff out. Because I knew which one the other stuff was. So we'll just pot that in. There you go. Nice, beautiful pot. And what else do we want to pot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the other one. <laughs> See? Look, these two look almost exactly the same. But they're not. <laughs> it's scary. It sure is. And we're going to remove this too. Because this is like kaput. Right? Kaput. There you go. It just slides off really easily. And we'll remove this one. And I believe with this one as well. There you go. A nice clean bottom yet again. Everybody loves a clean bottom. All right. All right. Let's put that in. Okay, and then we'll put in the... Oh, oh remove that. Put in the soil. All right. Let's put that in. There you have it. Nice. And I believe... Oh, we also have this because... Janice ordered two, but I only built her for one, but she did order an extra one, but I forgot to like send it to her. That's okay. If she buys it again, I know somebody will buy this. It's not a problem. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. And we'll put that like that. There you go. Beautiful. It takes so mine has like two little pups. It's taken quite a long time for it to pop out. And I believe that's all I wanted to pot today. Because oh you know what? We'll pot some mundaniums. Ow, that hurts. We'll pot some mundaniums as well. And I believe that will be it. Yeah. Mundaniums. Um uh, these are mundanium um uh, what are they called? Richii varg Variegated? Yeah, these are it. They're very nice. Although, it's funny, like, sometimes they'll revert back. You just have to, like, keep cutting them until they, they get variegated again. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cycle it goes through. And then in the summertime, you know, it's, it's... Sorry about that. In the summer times, the leaves aren't very variegated. It's not very colorful. It requires like spring and fall for the leaves to be very colorful. Anywho, I believe that is all that we're going to pot up today. So that's it. Hopefully you guys learned something or enjoyed the time. And I will see you in the next video, which is probably like another fun day Friday. Fun day Friday. Yeah, fun day Friday. All right. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.